Okay, next is um, Lagerstromia. Uh, this is number five on your list. So Lagerstromia is a, uh, a genus we call commonly called uh, crepe myrtles. And primarily there are uh, three groups of crepe myrtles that will grow in the United States. There's Lagerstromia indica, which has uh, gray bark. There's Lagerstromia farii, which has more of a cinnamon bark. And then there's hybrids. Uh, and I'm standing in front of uh, one of these hybrids between indica and farii. This was developed at the National Arboretum. This is a cultivar called Natchez. And so, um, really great cultivar. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan myself of the Fari Eye. I'm, I prefer the nice cinnamon uh, exfoliating bark in the Fari Eye. Uh, but Natchez is an excellent cultivar. Lagerstromia as a genus, um, they can have uh, opposite leaves, they can have sub-opposite leaves, or they can have alternate leaves. So there's variability in the leaf arrangement. They do tend to have this uh, traditionally elliptic uh, shape and a pretty um, uh, abruptly accumulate apex. So uh, you can see the, uh, depending, or no, no matter what the species is, uh, they have these typical crepe paper uh, type uh, uh, petals here. It comes in uh, whites to pinks to almost a cherry red. Uh, the stem, I'm holding this young stem right here, and if you roll it between your fingers, they are distinctly uh, squared uh, and grooved in the youngest stem. Crepe myrtles are really common in the southeast. Here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, they tend to, uh, depends on the year how, how great a flowering you're going to get. Um, but this year we had lots of heat in the Pacific Northwest in, in 2014, so we did have uh, pretty good flowering. So uh, wide variety in leaf presentation, in flower, uh, and in plant height. So there's everything from uh, two to three foot tall dwarfs up to uh, large trees. So variable genus. Uh, we just need to know it to, uh, to the genus level, Lagerstromia, and per, uh, particularly easy to tell, square stems, the leaf shape, and the flowers. So that is Lagerstromia.